Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back. Today I was going to come on and do a journal share with you. I've just made this little journal and double pocket stuffed to the brim with ephemera. But before I do that, I wanted to make a um, aged paper to go in it and I thought it might be fun just to come on and do it on camera. Um, I did use like an ivory colored copy paper. So let's go ahead and get started. I did a few of these before and they're such fun to make. Had a few questions about them so I thought I'd just go ahead and do one with you. I can get the glue and tape off my scissors. Goodness. Alright, I'm just going to start by taking my scissors. Oh, maybe I should have done this first. That's kind of loud, huh? I forgot about that. And the places it rips are just fine. But just come along and scrape it. And I know a lot of you do this too, but it's I think they're fun to make. I thought it might be fun to do one together. And just go all the way around. Off, right? Why not? Okay. So now we're started. Let's go ahead and get some ink. Ink these torn edges up. From where I tore, I'm going to just add a little extra ink in there. Did y'all ever make these? I'm just going to fold that over. Get a little ink on both sides. Maybe leave it like that, or maybe put another little fold in it. Just like things would bend and age naturally over time. That's all we're trying to do here. digs in it. I like doing these on the use ivory or tan, beige, whatever kind of paper, or coffee dyed paper. Or you could even do a color. I think a pale blue would be pretty too. couple of folds in it. Get some ink where we fold it, flip it over, do the other side. I'm going to be folding this to put in the journal, so I might as well Fold it now. I guess I should have gotten the 
page out I'm going to do it so I'd see if this is where I want the folds. Hopefully it is. We shall see. And then let's just ink around all these folds. I can't remember where I got this digital. I have several from several different places. I know Creative Fabrica. I got some from uh, Ruby and Pearl XO. Where else? Actually, one of my kits has some in it. I'm not sure if it's this one or not. So there's that. I like that. Looks pretty aged. Maybe I'll put one more little bowl going like that. Why not? Sometimes I take them and just, you know, crinkle them up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and show you the journal and the pocket full of goodies, and then I'll put this paper in it. So let's see. Okay, so this is the journal. This pretty lady I got out of a kit from my friend Lonnie over at Lonnie. Oh no, her um, Etsy is Art by Lonnie. Open it up, and I've just got this pretty piece of lace on here. Do some journaling there. I've got some lace here, and this is a little flip out. Or we can put some glue on the top and bottom and make it a pocket. And I've just got a lot of different papers in here. Actually, this was one of the collabs I did with Lonnie. But I just have a piece of torn, coffee-dyed paper use just a little ribbon kind of thing. And I've left it pretty plain because I have so much in this pocket. And this is a piece of coffee dyed paper. I also put some blue food coloring in with the coffee. I just folded this up and tore it and make a little small pocket here. Like I said, I've left most of it plain so that you can do whatever you want with it, but I think it's such a pretty selection of papers. Got a corner pocket here, the big journaling card. That just tucks up there. And we've got this tag. Nice big one for journaling. And I like it with the, the blue ribbon sticking out. Some more pretty pages. Love the shorthand paper that Lonnie has. And I'll go ahead and link Lonnie's shop below too. Oh, I think this is where I was going to put the the distressed paper. So we can tuck that in. And it this way. Hmm. Just about the right length. Good. Yeah, so we can do that. I think that'll be nice. You can have a lot of journaling room here. This is another one of those coffee dyed papers with the blue food color in it. So that's that. And that's the end. So that's the journal, and then I have, let me move these scissors. I have this double pocket I made, and like I said, it is just full of goodies. There's enough goodies to go in this journal and probably a couple more even. But this is the pocket. And let's just start going through 
little card. This is in one of my digital kits, one of the Dreamy collection. All of these are right here. And then this is another one of the ladies from Lonnie. And here's a vintage lady. I think this was Creative Fabrica. And this was a tag I made, wallpaper and another pretty little lady and here's a cluster or snippet whatever we want to call these thought that would be real pretty like on the you know on the side of the page and then let's look at what we have in here this is just an array of different little pieces some of them were just cutouts some of them are things I made. This is a cluster I made using one of these Rolodex cards. And this is another little cluster. And this is just something out of a digital kit. This is one from Ruby and Pearl XO. This is something that I made, little tag, little cluster that I made. This is another one from Ruby and Pearl XO. Couple little tags. So you've got a lot to play with. Let's see. Of course, you got a couple of glassine bags, which are always nice to have. Just got some butterfly punch outs, some little tags. This is um, something I made from one of Rachel's challenges, Roxy's weekly challenge. I forget which challenge, but that was one of them. This is something from Tina's shop, Shabby Debbie Doodah. Another butterfly. Just a little flip whatnot thing. Some more, oops, it's upside down. Just some more little odds and ends in here. These are from Pink Monarch Prints. Like I said, you really get a lot of fun things to work with. And this is the last little bag. I love these reusable bags. And this one, I just have a little bit of lace in. I've got some of this. And then this one. And this is some of that toil fabric or netting whatever you want to call it. I like to bunch it up and make little things with it. But I thought that would be pretty with it. And then a, uh, just a little cutout, see cut. And that is it. Um, all of this will be in the shop today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you tomorrow. Happy crafting. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, this will be in the shop with free shipping, since my whole shop now is free shipping to the U.S. So I hope that helps everybody. Happy crafting.